What's going on guys? Shane here with a trainer's tip. In this video, I want to teach you how to kick faster. And by doing that, we're going to break down two different style kick techniques. First is going to be a Muay Thai kick, and then we're going to look at a more traditional Taekwondo kick. Okay, so let's look at the Muay Thai kick. Boom. Okay, there's a nicely executed Muay Thai roundhouse kick to the head. So let's break it down. As you guys know, when throwing a kick, the first things you're going to do is pivot the non-kicking leg, the foot. Okay, so let's take a look at this foot. Okay, you can see, boom, the pivot right there. Okay, turning completely away from my target to throw the kick. Let's rewind that just a little bit so we can watch the, the foot, the kicking leg foot. Watch the path that it travels now, okay? Starting here, it's going to come out. The knee is going to come out. Then it's going to come towards the target. Okay, so let's watch that. Okay, very circular, very angular. The last thing I want you to take notice is watch my knee. The knee of the kicking leg right here isn't fully extended until until after I kick, okay? Not until about right there is the leg fully extended, okay? And this the reason for it is because I want to I want to kick through my target, all right? I want to chop him in half, I want to chop that head off. I just want to I want to as much power as I can get. The hips are turned over, okay? And I'm going to continue to spin. My momentum my momentum is moving that way. My hips are turned over, and if I were to try to just stop in place right there, it would be way too much stress on this knee right here. So I have to spin. I have no other choice but to spin, otherwise it would be too much stress there. Okay, so let's now look at the Taekwondo kick, okay? This is it right here, and boom. Okay, not sped up in any way. This is normal speed here. Okay, so let's watch this again. Let's break this down. I want you to take notice of the path that the kick follows. It's much more linear. The knee is gonna come much more straight up this way, okay? It's not gonna go in a circular motion as much, okay? So it's almost like I'm throwing a front kick. Let's watch this in slow motion. The knee comes up, still gonna come out a little bit. It is, but it's coming more so straight up and then watch how much I snap the kick, ready? From here, I'm gonna go in normal speed, boom, okay? Very quick, you snap the kick, okay? So it's less of a baseball bat swing with the, you know, that we did with the Muay Thai kick, the first kick. It's more of a snap. It's more like a, a, a cue stick, like uh, you're playing pool. It's going straight to the target, and that's what's making it quicker. Now, there's no follow through, okay? So this kick isn't going to be as powerful, but it's going to get there. It's going to land more often. It's going to get there quicker. Your opponent isn't going to see it coming, right? The other thing I want you to notice, too, is my leg is fully extended immediately after it, it it makes contact okay watch right here it's still bent still bent but it snaps and it's almost extended the knee let's look at that knee right right here okay the next frame is boom i'm fully extended i'm already retracting the kick okay right here i'm fully extended i just made contact and i'm already retracting the kick so i don't have to follow through Okay, because the hips, the hips weren't turned over as much. So what I came up with is sort of a hybrid between the both, okay? So what we're going to look at is a sort of combo between a Muay Thai kick and a Taekwondo kick right here. Boom, okay? So right there, <laughs> me and Marie are in shock at how I knocked it off of her hand. But uh, very nicely executed. Still was a follow-through, but not so as much. I didn't have to spin around all the way. I was able to chamber my kick, and I would have been able to turn and look back at Marie, but I was concerned about getting hit in the head with a head <laughs> uh, but let's look at this kick let's break it down in slow motion okay so it's going to be more linear more straight the knee is going to come up again it's still going to come in that circular angle but i want this knee here to come straight up towards my target so it can get the a to b quicker okay the quickest path is a straight line so the knee's going to come more so straight up again still angular still going to be pivoting all right on this foot right here um, but I'm going to snap the kick, okay? That's the secret. So let's watch as from here, it's just all about extending the leg as quickly as possible. Boom, okay? So you can see my knee here. My knee is fully extended by the time I made contact. Okay, hit right under the jaw. Nice sweet spot, nice knockout spot. And from here, I can start to retract the kick um, and just chamber it. And I'd be set up for, you know, a side kick um, where I would just be in a southpaw stance. But that's one thing, one thing I want you guys to, to just take notice. Pay attention to the hips, the way that the hips move over, the difference between um, the Muay Thai kick and the Taekwondo kick. There's not as much turning over of the hips. The leg is being extended sooner, okay? Always going to be pivoting on this foot here, okay? 
Um, but those are just some key points and the difference of. So try it. Try doing like a hybrid of the two. And uh, let me know what you think. Guys, also comment below. Let me know what you think of this video. Um, this style of, of video. I think this is going to be what we're going to be doing every Sunday. A trainer's tip. And um, also uh, subscribe for more like this. Okay, so we're doing three videos a week. So we hope to see you guys checking back on us. All right. Until next time. I'm Shane. Fight tips.